So when I was invited last fall, I immediately thought of Cindy Sherman's untitled number 150. Um, it happens to be the sole Cindy Sherman photograph in the museum's collection, and it also happens to be one of my favorites. Um, so I've had a long time love affair with Cindy Sherman in a medium that has had a long history of representing the female form, Sherman's unique and lifelong examination of gender roles, sexuality, female identity, class, and self-portraiture continues to be a primary inspiration for my own artistic endeavors. This photograph, untitled number 150, resides in her Fairy Tales and Disasters series. The Fairy Tale Disaster series marks the first time in her career where she starts to employ prosthetic and fake body parts, in addition to elaborate makeup, in an attempt to completely transform herself into these nightmarish and fantastic characters. This photograph retains the cinematic conventions of off-camera presence, which she frequently employed in the untitled film still series. Um, so immediately, we start to craft some sort of a narrative about who this nightmarish creature is. We start to think about what, what kind of environment she's in and what is commanding her gaze beyond the scope of the frame. The next question we ask ourselves is, what's with the tongue? It's clearly fake. It's less of a representational tongue it's less of a representational real tongue as it is more of a mythological representation of a tongue. It's far too big, it's too dark, it's too red, it's too wet, it's too stiff. Furthermore, the setting in which she appears larger than life, almost like a monstrous giant on a planet of tiny people, which, like the tongue, are artificial, creates a scenario that is so bizarre, the viewer has no other choice but to wonder what this existence is about. 